Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, today we are going to kind of start looking at adding a few different means of communication and things across the channel because, you know, if you've seen these new YouTube uh, terms and conditions, been causing a little bit of uh, a little bit of oopla out in the world. And so one of the things I'm going to start looking at doing is um, I'm going to look at streaming across a few different platforms. But the other thing we are going to start doing is I did have a request a few weeks back. Somebody said, hey, I love watching your videos, but I don't want to actually create an account on Google. And so with that, um, I wanted to go ahead and, hey, we're a tech channel. Let's go ahead and set up a uh, an old uh, IRC chat, right? So I created a channel for Switch to Linux on Freenode. Now, as long as it doesn't have a lot of crazy abuse or weird stuff like that, then I will um, go ahead and keep it open as it is right now. If I start getting a lot of weirdness, then I'm just going to make it invite only, and then you're going to have to request an invite from myself or a mod. So I'm going to show you how to set this up on um, Linux and also on Windows for you Windows users out there that like following the channel as well because I do realize that uh, since I don't focus exclusively on Linux there is an audience for people who are not um, not on Linux and have reasons not to be. Uh, if you're a Mac user you're gonna have to look up how to hook it up. Um, I don't uh, I'm not gonna turn on the Mac and try and figure it out right now but anyway let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna use hex chat for both of these so here on Linux Mint we're going to just search for hex chat which on Linux Mint is installed by default if it's not there just find it in the repositories so when you load this up now on Linux Mint when you load it up they have it automatically set to connect to the Linux Mint uh, stuff I've went ahead and uh, gotten rid of all of that you can see what my username is here I can add a new nickname just by clicking on this button down there and uh, new mint user let's just call this mint user or how about, how about by, by, by the way I use mint there you go that's a crazy name I don't like that either let's just go with mint <laughs> all right um, so you can use that. Now what we're going to do is we are going to connect to the channel. So uh, what's going to do is uh, where it says none right here, it's going to be connected. And you can connect to multiple different channels at the same time. So we're going to come over here and go for our network list. Now you might have a lot or a little things in here depending on your setup and things like that. So a lot of your hex chat out of the gate just has a ton of these. We are connecting on a free node, which is a, a place for... Uh, it's a place for your free and open source type things. And since we talk a lot about free and open source, I think we definitely would qualify. So click on this guy here. Here's your nickname and then your second choice and third choice. So this is if the first choice is already taken, the second choice, if the second choice is already taken, the third choice. Here's your basic username and go ahead and hit connect and then this is going to get you connected. Now, just an FYI, this is not a, a massively secure platform, so you got to be careful. I just wanted to get a, a, a situation together where people could leave comments without logging into YouTube and uh, remind me as we start the live streams and I will make sure that this is pulled up so we can keep notes over there. Now, the next thing we're going to need to do is we need to join the channel. Now, if it's your first time running Hex Chat, you might actually see an option when you first run that to connect to a channel. There might be some things in here uh, inside of this, but the easiest thing is just down here in your terminal. You can see I went with Mint underscore, meaning that Mint was not available to take. So if I want to join a channel, I just hit the... Uh, forward slash join and the channel name is you start with a hash and it's switched to Linux with the S T and L capitalized. So switched if I spell it right to Linux and then what you'll do is it's going to connect in. You can see kind of where I was doing the uh, the testing. So if I come on over here and I, I just like um, this is a test, and I actually have my system set up over here, so I have this set up on my other system here that it is going to be showing me a notification. And so if I come over here and hit uh, test return on the other computer, you'll see it will pop up. So of course I'm switched to Linux. 
as you may have guessed. We'll see the list of the people that are over here in the listing. Now you can get information for how you can uh, how you can connect and, and all these different things. And so uh, again, notice it's it's giving IP addresses and things like this. So this is not the absolute best, most secure thing to use out there. It's just an option that does not actually require you to. Uh, it does not require you to use a um, an individual account. Now, if you want to make sure that your username is saved, you can actually do that um, by doing a message and nick serve, and then register, and then you're going to give it a password. So, of course, I'm not going to do this, but give it a password, and then you also have to give it an email address. And that's for registration. That's to make sure that nobody actually snags the username that you are wanting to use. So once it's actually saved in there, then whatever your username is gets to be saved. You can actually change it uh, by doing slash Nick and give it a new name. And this was going to change your, your nickname in the channel. So um, that's kind of how we set this up. So we're going to go, go ahead and close this down. I'm going to show you how to hook this up on Windows as well. Okay, so here we are on Windows 10. And what we want to do here is find the hex chat, hexchat.github.io. And there's the button here for get downloads. Now, this is one of the exciting parts about Windows. If you come over here and hit the Windows 10 app, which, oh, I'm using Windows 10. They actually want to charge you $10. Hmm, exciting. Well, come over here, the Windows 7 Plus 64-bit installer, and this, you can actually install the desktop application as opposed to the crappy app, and it'll actually work just as fine. So we've went ahead and did that, so let's go ahead and find HexChat in our Applications menu. So with our HexChat, uh, of course, yes, my computer's nickname is Spy. My apologies. Uh, or, hey, enjoy that. Why not? So uh, here uh, we want to, of course, re-enter Freenode. And then we're going to connect to Freenode. And inside of Freenode, so it's finding your host name, blah, blah, blah. Now, this is actually the pop-up that you should see the first time you do it. So you can either click nothing, I'll join a channel later, or you can go ahead and join the channel right here called Switched to Linux, or you can just open the channel list, and this is going to give you a list of the different channels. So it says always show this after connecting. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. I'm going to show you another option. So now we can see here that is we are on the switch to Linux. Let's go ahead and give it a test from Spy. And that should give us uh, information here. Let me make sure test from spy showed up. Yes, it did. And let me reply back. Got it, spy. So you can see that switch to Linux is now telling back to got it, Mr. Spy. So here you go. You can go ahead and, uh, and set this up uh, like this. Now, the other task you might want to do, if this is going to be something you're going to be using a lot, is you can actually right-click these guys and hit your auto-connect. And then what these should do is the first time you want to do auto-connect on the free node and you want to hit the auto login over here and so when you first initially connect to the system it should boot up free node and even if it doesn't now when you close uh, switch to Linux then you can uh, go ahead and uh, come back right back on into it so we're gonna go ahead and close this now we can minimize it to the tray we're just gonna go ahead and quit and so I'm gonna show you here when you go to hex chat again open it up and leave me alone. So you can see it's fine. It's connecting to Freenode. And then once it connects to Freenode, it should automatically connect back to switch to Linux. We'll give it a second though and see if it does. And so now it indeed does. And so now I can actually see the list that Spy has quit because the client client quit and Spy has joined on my master that I'm watching over here. So we can see that we have uh, we have the Spy is in here. 
Uh, we can close that out. We can keep this guy open. Now, some of the things you can do with this is if you want to, you can go ahead and set your settings. I got to remember where they were now. Uh, but you can actually set your settings to give you notifications and things. So if you wanted to leave this open, then uh, it should be right in, let's see, window. i got to remember where they actually are. And they might actually be different on Linux versus over here. Uh, but anyway, there are options inside of here that you can use to notify you. So when you minimize it to the screen, it's going to do that. Is that under preferences? And so alerts. So over here is your channel message. So you can blink on the icon tray, blink in the taskbar. So if there's a channel message, if there's a private message, if there is a highlighted me uh, message, you can show notifications for, you can make it beep. So I think out of the, the default, just if somebody sends you a private message, it's on. So um, tray behavior, you can minimize the tray. You can close it to tray. Uh, you can automatically mark back in a way. So you can set this up a variety of different ways so that the system will work. So again, there's how to use this. Uh, you do not have to log in with a, um, you do not have to create an account with this. You just need to download it and join the channel. So of course, joining it with the switch to Linux, S, T, and L is capitalized. And if you are, if you do not get that original pop-up, remember it's slash join and then the channel name like this. And that will push you into the channel name. So hopefully that is helpful for you. And this is one of the things that I'm going to be doing down the road to uh, basically give us uh, a few more ways of communicating and reaching out. Once again, I'm going to keep the channel like that for now. If it becomes a problem or if it seems abusive or anything like that, then I'm going to go ahead and put some channel restrictions on there. And uh, if you are uh, one of my regular supporters, and I know who you are, and uh, let me know and I can uh, make you a mod of that channel as well so I can get some help. So anyway, uh, there is what we're doing here, and I'll be looking at other ways, and if you have other suggestions about other means of communicating, other means of places to stream to, let me know, and uh, we will be looking into those as we go. So thanks for coming along on this very brief video, and I hope that you enjoy switching to uh, Windows. No, no, that's not right. Let's switch to Linux instead.